Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is rock x to base 2 plus rock x to base 3. This is equal to 5. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Rock x to base 2 and rock x to base 3. This is in the form of rock a to base b, which we can express as rock a divided by rock b. Now this means that here we have rock x divided by rock 2 then plus here we have rock x divided by rock 3 this is equal to 5 so rock x is common here so we can factor out rock x so that into the parentheses we have 1 over rock 2 plus 1 over rock 3 Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 5. Now, here we have rock x. Into the parentheses, we have that the LCM here is rock 2 multiplied by rock 3, such that rock 2, rock 3 divided by rock 2 times 1, this is rock 3. Then we have rock 2, rock 3 divided by rock 3. We have rock 2 times 1, which is rock 2. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 5. Now, we have that rock 3 plus rock 2. This is in the form of rock A plus rock B, which we can express as rock A multiplied by B. Now, applying this logarithm property, here we have rock X into the parentheses. Here we have rock 3 multiplied by 2 divided by rock 2 multiplying by rock 3, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 5. The next step is that we have rock x divided by rock 2, multiplying by, here we have rock 3 times 2, which is rock 6, divided by rock 3, this is equal to 5. Now the next step is to multiply both signs by rock 3 divided by rock 6 so let's multiply here by rock 3 divided by rock 6 so let's simplify rock 3 and rock 3 here rock 6 and rock 6 here so that now we have rock x divided by rock 2 this is equal to 5 multiplied by rock 3 divided by rock 6. So we have that rock x over rock 2 and rock 3 over rock 6. This is in the form of rock a divided by rock b. We have that rock x over rock 2 and rock 3 over rock 6. This is in the form of rock a divided by rock b, which we can express as rock a to base b. Now applying this property, then here we have rock x to base 2 this is equal to 5 multiplied by rock 3 to base 6 now to solve for x here if we have rock x to base a equal to b this implies that x can be expressed as a to the power of b so this implies that x here is equal to 2 to the power of 5 rock 3 to base 6 and you find that 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by rock 3 to base 6 this is in the form of a to the power of n multiplied by m which we can express as a to the power of n raised to the power of m applying this exponent property then we have that x is equal to 2 to the power of 5 raised to the power of rock 3 to base 6 so this means that the value of x here is equal to 2 to the power of 5, this is that 2, raised to the power of rock 3 to base 6. So this is the value of x. And the next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So let's verify from here. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we end that rock x to base 2 plus rock 
x to base 3, this should give us a value of 5. So let's substitute the value of x so that we have rog 32 to the power of rog 3 to base 6 to base 2, then plus rog 32 raised to the power of rog 3 to base 6, then to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 5. Now we have that rog 32 to the power of rog 3 to base 6 to base 2. This is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. Applying this power root property, then here we have rog 3 to base 6 multiplied by rog that 2 to base 2, then plus. Here we have rog that 2 to the power of rog 3 to base 6, so this is rog 3 to base 6 multiplied by rog that 2 to base 3, this should give us a value of 5. Now, we can express that 2. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. So this is the same thing as rog 3 to base 6 multiplied by rog 2 to the power of 5 to base 2, then plus rog 3 to base 6 multiplied by rog 2 to the power of 5 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 5. Now, we can express rog 3 to base 6 as rog 3 divided by rog 6 multiplied by, this is the same thing as 5, rog 2 divided by rog 2. Then here plus, we have rog 3 divided by rog 6 multiplied by 5. This is rog 2 divided by rog 3. This should give us a value of 5. The next step is that rog 2 and rog 2 here simplifies. Rog 3 and rog 3 here simplifies. So that now we have, this is the same thing as 5 rog 3 divided by rog 6 then plus 5 rog 2 divided by rog 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 5. 5 and 5 here is common, so we can factor out 5. Then here we have rog 3 plus, now this is the same thing as rog 3 plus rog 2 divided by rog 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 5. Now, rog 3 plus rog 2, this is in the form of rog A plus rog B, which you can express as rog A multiplied by B. So this means that we have 5 into the parentheses. This is rog 3 times 2, which is 6. Then divided by rog 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 5. Now, the next step is to simplify here. Rog 5 and rog 6 and rog 6 here simplifies. And this means that we have that 5 is equal to 5. And this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this means that the value of x here, which is equal to that 2 raised to the power of rog 3 to be 6, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow these steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.